Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives. We are in the apiary. The girls are flying. We got a little bit of work to do today. Hey everybody, Brian here. Look at the girls. It is 50, I think five degrees, 56 degrees Northeast Ohio, uh, February, I think this is the 21st. So what we're doing today, I mean, look at these two colonies right here. Look at this. So this is the bee castle. Look at that activity here. Look at the bee box here. I mean, this is crazy. This is what is a beekeeper in the spring. If you can just sit, you close your eyes, and you just listen to that. Oh, it's so soothing. But what I'm doing today, so I wanna talk about an exciting product that we're adding into the apiary this year. And that is Hive Alive Fondant. Now, look at that girl's landing on me. Oh, bees are so mean, aren't they? They know that I'm excited to give them this. So Hive Alive, now there are you know, there's there's so many people in the community using it, but it has a liquid syrup in it, okay? There's also vitamins, amino acids, there's seaweed extract also. Now, Hive Alive itself has been proven to help against Nozema. Uh, it's been proven to boost brood production. It's been proven to increase honey production. So there's tons of benefits around look at this look the girls they want it they want it uh there's been tons of research uh around this product um if anyone is curious about hive alive itself okay um i have been welcomed look at that they're landing on me uh i've been welcomed into the hive alive affiliate program so i'm gonna throw a link down there and then there's also a code, Brian10, where you can get 10% off of this stuff, even the syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this top box off. Look at that, look at him landed on me. Oh, this is awesome. Um, I'm gonna pull this top box off and, hey girl, it's springtime almost. And I'm gonna cut this and put this on. So when I cut it on the label side and flip it over, we're gonna be able to see as they're eating this fondant. Now, right now is a critical time because here in Northeast Ohio, you know, if they do not have enough stores inside of the hive, this is when colonies perish. Um, look at that landing on me. Uh, so I'm putting this on right now um, and just going to check. Now you all saw, uh, look at her, she's visiting. You all saw the, the cluster size in this uh, hive right here. You all saw the cluster in here as well. So I'm very excited to get this product on here, get these hives into the spring where I can split them. So let's go ahead and crack these things open. Go on, girl. And uh, let's get this hive alive on. So let's start with uh, Bee Castle first. All right, everybody. It's my hive alive. Oh my gosh, I can hear them in here. Wow. Yep. All right, I'm gonna try and give them some smoke to drive them down, and I'm gonna try and take that box there off and then put the hive alive right on it. So let me pull this super so that you all can see that. All right, I tell you, a lot of girls up there. Okay, you can see I have this cut so that I can just fold that back and set that over that hole. Now I'm just gonna pull this off. I expect a couple girls. 
to let me know they're not happy. But what I'm gonna do at the same time is try and slide this over top. Well, I tell you what, they're acting kind of chill. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I can't pop this cover. And we're gonna look at the cluster size on this here uh, colony. Super chill, super, super chill. Look at this colony. Nice. That's all the sugar they have left right here, this little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do here, and I'm just gonna brush that there. That's it, right there. This colony here now is done. Okay, I'm gonna sweep that little bit of sugar out. All right, that's good on that side. That's good there, perfect. Now, I'm gonna take the wrap off of this hive right now. I just am. Uh, I'm taking that extra box off and they are just getting Get on out of there, girl. Right there. Close this up, okay? Uh, there is sufficient enough population in this hive. This colony is massive, okay? Um, I look forward to this, so this will probably be one of the colonies that I end up splitting. You know, this one will become three, okay? Just what I'm hoping. So, uh, Bee Castle, though, looks wonderful um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the strap back on it and we're gonna move over to the bee box poly and I'm just so curious on on that thing because you guys saw that last week so let me get on over there Wow tell you what there's girls up top here again This colony here is just going to go bonkers. So let me clear them out of the middle. And I'm going to clear off some of this wax, propolis. All right, so. I'm gonna put this hive alive right here on the frames on the bee box. Um, I'm gonna pull that other feeder that I had off. And if I can, I'm gonna try and just slip this inner cover here on. I know it's not, you know, there's gonna be a gap there, but I want them to have that fondant and they're gonna just get this top. Perfect, perfect. That sits, sits real nice on there. So I'm gonna close up this colony. Hive. All right, so you saw here with Bee Box, um, looks great. I put that Hive Alive fondant right on the frames. 
Uh, this hive here does not have an inner cover like what the bee castle and the others does, this poly type setup. It has that clear, uh, you know, I, I don't know what it is, that clear plastic cover. So I just set it right in there, that way they have that fondant. The other bees that are in this other feeder, I'm just gonna clean that out. Um, so both of these colonies are doing wonderful so far. So let's get up to the main castle. They had that small cluster. Um, I have a feeling about that hive. So let's get on up to main castle and check that out. All right, y'all, let's check out main castle. My feeling I have about this colony I don't have a good feeling. These two colonies that I just lost, what I can about say happened was they both requeened themselves in ending of September. So most likely what happened was you know, there were a lot of people that had problems with their colonies uh, swarming in September in Ohio. So, uh, I'm gonna get this off. Man, that's a mess. Um, but there were a lot of people that had problems with their colonies uh, swarming and when you swarm that late in Northeast Ohio, it's almost a death sentence. The colony that leaves, there's nowhere to go. Um, back here, that's such a critical time because they should be laying the winter brood. So, you know, this colony, you can see it just kind of dwindled and dwindled and dwindled and dwindled in size until they just could not, they couldn't stay warm anymore. So we lost another one. So going into the winter with five, now we're at three. So um, let's check the farmer's hive. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's go out to the uh, farmer's property and check that one now. Hey, buddy, we're at the farm hive uh, activity here. So let me cut this fondant. Total bummer about that that hive there that uh, lost but what can you do you know this this area so plus the fact that they requeen so late so and hey y'all so I'm gonna apologize if you hear guineas there's guinea file here so uh, let me get this open though let me get my uh, you know jacket on my veil get some gloves on and we're gonna take a look at the cluster size I'm gonna pop that Vivaldi board on this here uh, colony and uh, see how they look. Oh, look at that, some moisture's drying up. Wow. Well, I brought new burlap, so I'm gonna put that in here, but let me see. Well, first look here. Now, I can tell y'all what I did I forgot to take my inner cover off. Sugar there. Nice colony. Okay, that's on. Yeah, my Govi sensor will not fit. So I'm just gonna put that above. Uh, all right, everybody, so, lost another colony. Um, I kinda had a feeling about that one though. You just kinda get that feeling, you know? Um, it happens. my bag up here you know it happens uh, we're down to three so going into December I had six lost a horizontal 
Um, now lost just in the last two weeks, both of the colonies on that front stand. Both of those colonies requeen themselves ending of September. No idea why. So to me that says they did not have enough time to lay up their winter bees. They dwindled down and just there wasn't enough bees. Take it for what it is. Um, lesson learned, you know. Uh, it, it is what it is that's beekeeping in Northeast Ohio. So um, you all take care. Uh, I'm curious now to see how, you know, the girls are gonna take to this Hive Alive uh, fondant. Remember, Brian 10 is that discount. I'll put the link in the description. Um, I also wanna say recently we were added as a um, affiliate for the Laura Bees uh, vaporizer. So, woo, I'll have that link down there too. Apame also, woo. We're doing some exciting things. So, um, lots of exciting things gonna happen here this year at Castle Hive. So, you all take care. Uh, we're almost into spring. We're gonna get to splits. We're gonna get to grafting this year. We're gonna expand the apiary. From three, I'm gonna have 10. So it's gonna happen, folks. Um, y'all take care. If you're enjoying this weather, enjoy the weather. So we'll see y'all in the next one. And uh, I also wanna thank uh, those that have been watching the streams, um, stream team, that awesome crew. So uh, gotta say, you know, thank you to Bruce. Thank you to Greg. Um, but you all take care uh, until the next one.